Welcome to the West Sax campaign for Thrones of Britannia. And down here in the southwest, we've got my client states pushing on Kurno. They, they decided to declare independence. I think we're going to have to wipe them off the map because I think if we do don't finish the job off, they're, they're just going to be a problem over here. My scent has really done a grand job here. They've actually pushed up through here. I think they're now into Norfolk. And I think maybe we will push out this way because if you look at the victory conditions, uh, you've got, I think I'm going to aim for the short one, which means we've got to come up to here to Staffordshire, which is here. Of course, we've got Tamworth here, which is the old capital of Mercia before the Danes arrived. What actually happened was the Danes swept in because originally Mercia was a lot bigger than what it is on this map, even though they've expanded aggressively. And the, the Danes actually burnt Tamworth down and and then effectively after that period for a long time, Mercia, well, until the formation of England, Mercia had no king and they also had no real capital. In fact, I think the capital, where is the capital for Mercia? Uh, let's just have a quick look, just out of curiosity guys. Diplomacy. They've actually capital here is uh, oh so the Tamworth is still the capital okay so they've actually stuck with historical but in fact at this period Tamworth wasn't actually the real capital I think the the main capital because the Mercy was ruled by an earldoman who was eventually married to Ethelthred and I think his base was Siren Sester anyway I think that's all we can do here we got these guys are unhappy. I think we're just going to roll the end turn over, guys, and let's get into this campaign. And there's the East Sacks coming down. Uh, hopefully, they're going to disappear. They've only got one unit left, which is probably dying because they've got no settlements. And, and of course, we're a little bit exposed on the south coast at the moment because my army is down dealing with uh, Kurno. But we do need to tidy up that trash oh, that's it faction destroyed east angle and we've got mission succeeded eliminate is east angle influence plus two but alfred i think alfred has already maxed out on his influence anyway he's level 10 and i think we're looking good there right got somebody with low loyalty can we ethel wine what's up with him find him don't you like yeah he got no estates okay um we could give him a state we could secure his loyalty i don't really want to spend the cash we could adopt him adoption cost him i mean how old is he he's 20 25 could lower his influence but he's already got low influence so his problem is to do with we could give him an estate actually maybe we'll give him St Albans are you Ethel Wine you're gonna be right out on the front line so you're gonna be happy yeah you're gonna be happy with the estate and to get up to Stafford up here gonna have to come through this area and I'm kind of thinking of starting a war against these guys uh, because where are they uh, one of the downsides of this map is it's a bit too cluttered I actually I actually feel I mean I don't know how you guys feel about it but I actually think feel that the maps a little bit too dense really right they are at war Edinburgh and Stamberg. So they're actually at war with these guys, so we could get some support from those. Uh, I think we could just declare war. I was half hoping that they would be. Things, so I think we're gonna the men are ready to serve. declare war on these guys. I don't like this mechanic. I much prefer the Rome 2 mechanic because. I wouldn't call these guys in for this battle. I would just leave them out, or I'd call in one 
I just don't like this whole idea that when you declare war, all your client states have to take part. So, got some allies who've refused to join. Yeah. Just gonna occupy that. And I think what we're gonna do is if sent a target. I think we set uh, gonna give that target there. Ellenberg. Because uh, um, I want love for the the actual scent to come and take this. But I don't really want this, I don't think, because this is part of Suffolk. So I don't really want to take that. I mean, we could snatch that, and scent snatches that. That would be useful. My small army here. I think what we're going to do is bring you round to here. Got a little bit of food. Maybe I need to build this army up a little bit. Those are English rebels. That's Helenburg in Northampton. If a, if a name ends in Tun, that normally means it's a Saxon name. I think it's Tun and Ham are Saxon names. If it ends in a Y, it's actually a. Uh, a Danish name actually, sorry, I'm just gonna Athelwick. Uh just having a quick look. I'm trying to think where York is. That Ethelwick, uh, that's the Humber coming up there. I'm sure that's the Humber. Uh not very good on the North of England because I was I come from the South of England because uh Ethelwick is actually the Danish name for Etheric, I think that's it there, is Jorvik, which then became York. So at this period, that York had two names. It had the Saxon name and the uh, Viking name, or the Dane name. I shouldn't call them Vikings because they weren't Vikings. Vikings were not actually a, how can you say, uh, a, a people they were actually that was Viking was to go raiding I think we're gonna we're just gonna strip everything we can away from Kurno for the moment and uh, we've got a little bit of cash to spend I think what I am gonna do sorry I'm flipping all over the map guys um, my alpha army here can we recruit anything here uh, I certainly want you guys jazzed up a bit I don't think these guys benefit from extra weapons see what these guys anything here I think give these guys a couple of axemen and cavalry see a little bit of food but I just want this force to be strong enough that should we get raiders coming down this way we will actually be able to pull these armies back right they've got bathing stuff here so certainly uh, bit of cash here, so I'm just gonna do that. Right, we've got a governor here. Uh, I mean, Gloucester. Gloucester's a bit. So maybe we need to improve public order. Anything here that can actually improve public order. Zeal. We, we give him a bard. That should lift the public order a little bit. Okay. Must admit, I'm still not convinced about the public order system. Oh, these guys have actually come in and taken that area. So they're actually doing us a favour. Oh, that's great. Well, we might leave sent. Okay, faction destroyed. And I think what we can do is could actually give these guys a little bit of a bash. Actually, come in here. Quite so. Can occupy that. You 
we've got two minor settlements. I think probably eventually we will maybe take that. We'll declare war on these, but I think what we're going to do is push Alfred the centre here. We're going to go straight for uh, Pampton here, I think. There's the other minor settlements. You've got that there. That there. That belongs to uh, Bedderberg. I think they are they're our allies, aren't they? Or they were our allies. I think we're going to go straight for Northampton. Because these guys are actually here. Let's just check. Here. That's Hemleberg. Let me just reassert our scent. That that's where we want them to actually attack. that because then that will give sent a complete province I mean I don't know if it's actually totally relevant guys in the sense of I mean things like Rome 2 and Davidiet Impera completing whole provinces is quite important my army gone I've lost an army and I'm not so sure in this game that that is quite so important right. occupy that that should keep weakening Cerno down. They've got an army here that's pretty beat up. Looks like they've they but uh, like Tin Tagel survived. Okay. So these guys didn't actually manage to do it and they, they've got I think maybe I mean again politically something else I would like to see is they'd be able to gift regions to say your clients because I, th I can see playing this like now I'm coming down here I'm building this up I don't really want this area as such because it, it's a little bit of a mess I mean we yes we've got Somerset now complete and I suppose that is happy but we've got this kind of area here that's a bit yucky and messy uh, I suppose if we can grow I mean, we would need to take that from this province here. So what I would like to do done is actually just gift these uh, two provinces to this area here. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up with this rather messy bit there. So right, we've got very, very low loyalty. OK, what? Uh, why don't you guys like me? Uh, state owners low, so it means we've got to give out more estates. Uh, OK, anyone? short of an estate four estates they've got a so who's got the worst that they're all fairly you got the worst here you're Cuthred so let's give Cuthred that does that make him every happy again I'm I'm not totally comfortable with this loyalty system I must admit, I found it slightly irritating in Attila as well, to be honest, guys. Uh, it, it seemed a bit arbitrary, is probably the polite way of saying it, in in its own sense, right? This, this was, I mean, right, is that building requires repair? It would repair that, it would make it, but if I'm going to build up, I want to work in the heartland of my kingdom. Uh, this is building up. Got plenty of food, but we really need cash. Same time. Actually, let's have a look at the public order. Anyone really got good public order? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not too, too worried about that. That should fix things. Got, that should take up our armor. That could be quite useful. I feel that we're probably going to get a Viking raids from here, so so I think maybe that's only going to be five food. I think maybe upgrading that is going to be more relevant. So right, we're just going to go for another intern, guys. Finished research. Search this now, watermill. Not sure if we're going to build a watermill. 
actually quite like that. Got leadership here plus twenty five percent fame. Tavern. What do we get for a tavern then? Look militarily wise. We've got missile units, military prestige, raise a general to rank ten. Well, that's probably gonna be Alfred. Spearman. Um, I think maybe it's time to upgrade our spearman, I think. Right, let's just see what's going on down here. Who's this? This guy's here. Tadjal. We can we hit Tintagel? Okay. Uh, night attack. Make any difference? Uh, I think we're, you know, playing the siege. Right. I think if we take Tintagel, that'd be really, really cool, guys. Uh, Hopefully one of these armies will come in and support us. Ah, famous last words. Right, it's winter. Where is Asus? It's an event match. Declare vengeance. Swords of Wayland. Yeah, you're okay. We're not. And that's gone now, so. All forces in good order. Let's battle right, to men. Gonna get Alfred, right, we're going to set up a couple of siege battles here, guys, so and that's going to give us Northampton. We'll come back for these guys later on, but I think we're, we're, it's better to take Northampton, because, again, if I show you on the map, I mean, this is how I think, and this is how I think in all my Total War games, is that I actually look for settlements that can pin, and I think in some ways this is going to be more important with this game in the fact that if you get the main capitals you can have I mean Alfred actually set this up and it's called the borough system or Berg where he built fortified towns which the local population can flee to when the countryside was actually invaded and so that's the way that he actually operated and in some ways the, this game reflects that situation because if you imagine Northampton here oh come on so we got here so we've got this two area here but because this is going to be behind a potential front line you can have this defensive garrison tucked in there so I think that's going to be quite useful guys we've got low public order there's nothing we can do about it if you rebel who cares I'll just set my clients on I'm more interested in this area here um, so let's see, we've got a little bit more cash to spend, so it's my province. Ah, Dorchester. I think Dorchester's looking pretty strong. Actually, that army up here. I think we've got quite a lot of food. I'm a bit tempted to actually recruit some extra units for this army, actually. Let me get Cav. Uh, Maybe we'll give you an archer. I mean, I'm just building this army up as as a defensive army, so so we get raiders, so we can get back across very quickly. Should we get any trouble? Dorset. Uh, uh, Huntington. Five turns and winter or Hampshire. I keep calling it Huntingshire, but it's actually Hampshire. Uh, quite like this actually this is building up actually public orders getting a bit low so maybe uh, maybe we're we'll punch that out because I want to keep this place happy so right let's faction destroyed Gwynedd Athelwald, uh, Athelwald, parents, Alfred. Oh, so we actually got a noble birth. First noble birth. Okay. Got Athelwald here. Athelred. Wife? Yeah. The author. Ah. Turn it down. Get that. Right, guys.
guys have got two sieges to fight. Ah. Shall we fight this for the fun of it? Just check, just gonna hold that. I, I do want to fight some siege battles just to get the practice in because I'm a little bit rusty on siege battles. Ah. One. This is gonna be a tougher battle because we've actually got that and this is gonna be longer. I mean, we could siege them down. I, I don't know. Actually, yeah, let's have a quick look. We could siege them down a little bit more. So, um, let me just set a war target for these guys. I think what I want you to take that. So, I want you guys down here. Actually, declare war on Cerno here. You've got 13 units. You're a little bit beat up, but you should be able to get down here and deal with these guys. Ah, especially, who are you? You're Denfordshire, so maybe if we gang these guys up a little bit, give you a target on there as well, because that's their army. And I think if we can then bash through here, but I think just to wind this part up guys and just for the fun of it I think we're going to fight this siege here as I say I do need the practice so we might as well enjoy it uh, but of course it's Alfred I mean Alfred fights the battles actually quite a fairly big army oh that's cool guys again this is another reason why I will fight the siege battles I want to see these these new maps because some of these maps are fantastic and this would be a shame. I mean, yes, it's a simple battle, but at the same time, as I say, these are quite fascinating maps. And if you don't actually fight the battles on it, even the simple battles, how how can you actually appreciate the maps and enjoy them? So that's my thought process, guys. So we're gonna. Use axe, not pen. <laughs> Viking proverb. Gonna come in here, guys. Add nice and dry, start deployment. And victory. Wow, this is fantastic. The victory point is there. Oh, I do like these. I must admit, uh, after the disappointment of Warhammer. I, I think CA have really excelled themselves. This is the type of settlement that should have been in Warhammer, to be honest, from the game. I know you can actually... Look at that. That's is broken. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's a trap. So if you evaded from this side, you'd have to fight there. As I say, it's, it's a shame of Warhammer, especially the siege battles. I mean, to be honest, it was the siege battles that really kind of turned me off from Warhammer. I... I just never really took to Warhammer after when after I played the first siege battle because they're just so incredibly boring. And I think guys can drop. We're going to put okay. No point having you on that thing. Right. Why is our general under attack? The enemy our right. It's going to speed up, guys. I was here for some time. Uh. So now I managed to hit the pause button. Slow it up. Right. Alfred forward. Right. In we go. In. 
in go right, drop things in After these archers, oh. long axemen. Okay. Right. Alfred in. Right. In you go, guys. Bring the cavalry up. Right. Got the long axemen. Right. Come on. Push the push the gates. Come on. Here. Sure. Kind of half inclined, guys, to get rid of these spearmen, to be honest. Okay. I suppose I could have used the spearmen to break this calf, but. Okay. Now you guys go after the cavalry. In you go. Maybe we'll get Spearman in an anti cav roll. Right, strike these axemen. Push on it, Alfred. I think I actually need that. Horseman. Right, push through, come on. Smash them. They got more forces up here. Ah, okay. Horseman, you chase these guys down. Let's reform. Bit messy. Ch chase those retinue swordsmen. Alfred, guys, start to advance this way. My Wusser archers have done it. Left now. Cav. Uh, get up here. Just gonna advance the f armies forward. Uh, I think you guys can sit out the rest of the battle. Uh, just. Form up outside. Got here. Archers, you come forward as well. Gonna just march our way up this way, guys. Ah. Axemen. So, a couple of axe units that are in good condition. Useless, so don't need you. A horseman. Uh, there's no towers over here, so I'll get them up, bring the whole cav over this way. Uh, find these guys up here. Axes behind.
Okay. Right, I want you to distract them and then what we're gonna do is swordsman up with Alfred in behind. We're gonna bring the Axeman through as well. That's exactly what I wanted. So we're going to get Swordsman coming through. Alfred behind. You up this way. Hello guys, we're over here. Ah. Guard mode. Shield castle. Ah. I think we're going to try out the swine herd. Cav up behind. Ah, uh, what we've got here? Raise banner. In you go. That should be the end. There we are. So we set the settlement on fire. Okay. We lost 327 on that. It looks like we lost an archer unit. That's going to be slightly annoying. Ah. And continue. Yeah, we lost an archer unit. Well, we're just going to have to recruit them. It's going to occupy. Kind of, do I want three? I've got in the way of recruitment pool. Got these axes here. So these guys are damaged. We could recruit those and then uh, guys up. Again. So I know this is not the sporting way to do it guys but um got some long axes here. We've got the shield. Got those but in some ways these guys are more powerful these heavy long axe and axe infantry. These are level two. These are only level one. Okay, I'm not gonna recruit another archer, we've got some cav can't recruit any swordsmen. I actually quite like these axe units. They seem because they've got the protection on actual they've got shield castle, expert charge, defense. Okay. I think I think okay, we're gonna get one more of those, one more of those. Just to make this a bit more of a rounded army. Um okay. Idle Curiosity. Okay, maybe we're these guys that they got a bit they got better morale. Yeah, they got slightly better morale, so maybe we'll we we'll train those. Maybe it was a mistake not training them up. We need to repair that, that, and we've now got Northampton. Oh someone's got in here and some rebels. I'm sure there were some rebels around here somewhere. Ah. Right. Got here. May assign a provincial governor. Again, I'm, I'm not sure about this governor system. It, it seems to be almost infinite in the sense that you, you take a region like this and then you can assign a provincial governor. With Attila, you only had so many but it just seems a bit arbitrary here, the fact that every time you gain one of these provinces, I mean, look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about to appoint our ninth 
governor and it just seems a little bit Yeah, you know, it just seems a little bit influent, you know, arbitrary, probably the correct way of saying it. I mean, as I say, in Attila, you actually, there, there was a limit to how many governors, so there was a, 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 a way that you had to choose very, very carefully what you actually do. Okay, if we actually repair that, that's a bit of stupid. <laughs> Sign skills, you're a governor. Been, I've been pushing the old scribe situation here. Uh, kind of. I mean, I mean, I do like that with the governance, but at the same time, I actually like he improved the zeal. That's actually going to. Uh, I think what we're going to do is throw in some of these as well just to inc improve the public order a little bit as well oh, poor public order down here and I think this won't leave it guys for this part I've gone on a little bit longer than I should I'm trying to keep these a little bit shorter than I've done previously in the next part we will fight the battle of Tinchagel this is going to be a little bit more focused because we've got 16 and they're defending with four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean, we should be able to win that, but I think this is going to be a bit more of a focused siege. So we, we do need to deal with that. And hopefully, uh, what we've got here, there we go, that one there, that's actually been taken, but. That one's free. So if we take Tintagel and then push down here, we may actually have a, a solid province here. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.